Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So, in this lesson, we are going to do something a little bit different as we're going to deal with updates to the code. However, these are based on viewers' requests. So, with that said, let's come to the very top and make a new variable of type public int underscore time scale and I'm going to start with a value of 100 and in the comments we'll put defines the time scale modifier and we'll come down to the seconds counter. Now, this line here, where it says counter plus equals time dot delta time, this is the one we're going to change. And all we're going to do is insert that new variable of time scale in here, and then add a times symbol and let's alter the comment plus time scale and let's just put synced to pc speed so let's save that off we'll downsize the script and let's hit play and it may just take a moment and then hopefully you should be able to see the time scale in effect now I've switched on the GUI so obviously you can adjust this value to any one you wish and that's all you need to do to actually add a time scale function to this script. Now let's have a look. And let's come to quick fine. So here we are in Sun Rotation Manager. Now, I would recommend that you keep this one. I'm just going to comment out the whole block because we are going to now implement a more simplified version of the sun rotation. Now, you can keep the current one if you wish. But again, I've had this request to do it in this manner, so I'm going to do it in this video. So, um, please feel free to skip this if you want to keep the original. And I'm going to create of type private float underscore rotation. Let's say sun moon value. Close the line off into the comments. Define sun, moon, rotation value, type private float, degrees, sun, moon, and we want that equal to 360F. Into the comments, we'll say it defines how many degrees the sun and moon travel. And yes, we can add a moon if we wish. I'll probably deal with that in a different video. But for now, let's continue on and create of type private int 
underscore seconds in a day. Now this wants to be equal to eight six four zero zero. Close the line off into the comments. We're going to say defines how many seconds are in a day. And I'm just going to put real world in brackets. You could put real time or something like that. And another of type. No, in fact, we don't need anything else. That should actually be fine. So let's save that off. Let's come down. And again script's getting quite long now so it's easier just to tab through like that with the find feature and we're going to create or recreate this function so let's do that now Just quickly tidy everything up. And then we can get on and recreate. Sorry, caught the wrong button there for a moment. We'll recreate this function in a slightly different way so that's that now tidied up just in case you want to go back to using the old one and at the very top of this function, we're going to say rotation sum value is equal. And in fact, let's put that into the comments now, because I think this is going to go over one line. So we'll say rotation value equals come below underscore degrees sun moon divided by and we want seconds in a day times time scale let's close that line off into the comments so we'll say degrees and we want divided by sum of how many seconds in a day times our time scale and we'll come below and in fact we can come to this function we commented out let's just copy this so we're copying the transform rotate around let's paste that in and we just need to change rotation temp to rotation sun moon value and we'll just quickly tidy that up and um, that's all we need to do so let's save that off again we'll hit play and what I'll do is while it's still playing, I'll come back to the scene tab. Let's center in on the directional light. And as you can see, it's moving. You can see here in the transform as well. And it's also moving 
in conjunction with our new time scale feature. So hopefully now I've covered all bases with this function and um, I'm hopeful anyway that you will all feel confident to adjust this or use whichever lines of code you see fit. However, as always, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will always do my best to try and answer. But for now, we'll leave it here for this video. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.